All right, so for the first technique that you're gonna learn, it's gonna be the X choke, all right? Probably the most traditional, classic way of finishing from the mount position. Now I have a few different details that I, that I do for the X choke that maybe might be different than what you've seen before. I'm gonna break that down for you and also I'm gonna show you how I use the X choke and the, the control of his head to help me keep um, the mount position and use my offense also as defense. Okay, so let's get started. So, usually when I'm in the mount position, I'm either going to have control of his head wrapped around like this, or I'm already going to have a hand in his collar, all right? There's not very much time where I'm just sitting up looking for something, okay? Most of the time, I'm holding the head, all right? I really like to hold the head for a number of reasons, not just for the submission attacks that I can set up from here but also for my ability to shut down his escapes, okay? So now when I have my arm wrapped around his head with my shoulder in his, his face here, it's gonna make it really hard for him to escape on his right side. Anything he wants to do over there, I'm just gonna add my shoulder pressure, and he's never even gonna be able to look at that side, okay? So it's gonna be virtually impossible for him to escape over there. Most of his escapes are gonna have to be on this side, all right? And you know, at that time, this is a good time for me to start setting up my, my X choke. But if I didn't want to attack and I just wanted to keep holding, I could simply switch my arms at that point and start to use my shoulder a lot on this side, okay? And I could do that as many times as I need to to make it really hard for him to escape, all right? I can also use my, my hands on his elbow and start to look for underhooks here as well. But usually I just keep it real simple and any side that I feel like he wants to escape on, I'm going to wrap his head and start to use my shoulder so he can't even look to that side anymore. All right. Now, if I feel like he's setting up a, a, a good escape and he's starting to get his elbows in, then this is another great opportunity for me to start to attack his neck. All right. So instead of switching my arms, what I'll do is I'll get my thumb in his collar here just under the back of his neck, all right? I know he wants to escape to this side. It's impossible for him to escape the other side. So now, not only am I going to attack, but I'm also gonna block his escape on that side whenever I bring my arm over off of his head and start to drop my elbow down into his chest, my forearm across his neck here, all right? Now, the more he wants to escape and turn to that side, I just drop my elbow down and it makes it really hard for him to even look over there and begin to attempt to escape. Now, this isn't quite deep enough, okay? For my X choke, it's very important that I get my first hand extremely deep, all right? And you notice, I had my thumb in. I'm gonna keep it with the thumb in variation the whole time, all right? I prefer this variation. Um, it's a little faster. I will use a four-finger uh, variation as well, occasionally, but most of the time, this is how I finish my chokes. All right, so I'm gonna keep my thumb in. To help make this tighter, I'm gonna drop down and I'm gonna grip that same collar with my four fingers on the other hand, just like this. And I'm gonna pull and open up and take out as much slack as possible, sliding my arm even deeper into his neck, okay? I'm gonna ease up a little bit, but here I would be very uh, you know, heavy on this arm, applying a lot of pressure across his neck and many times you can make them start to feel the choke with just this one arm, okay? They already kind of will start to choke, okay? So just lean down on your elbow, take out all that slack, all right? Now, from here, most people are gonna start to wanna, you know, kind of maybe look to bridge you over, all right? Uh, this is a very common defense to, to the X choke when you have the one arm in, is for them to bridge you over. So I'm gonna slightly adjust my weight, okay? just a little bit, all right? So I, I brought, uh, I would say about 70% of my weight onto my right side now, and maybe only 25 to 30% is uh, on my left side, okay? So I'm ready for him to try to bridge me over, all right? Um, now, most of the time he's gonna try, okay? So as he tries, I might have to post my hand just to be safe, okay? And now as I feel his hip come back down, that's gonna be the moment that I'm gonna slide my hand 
straight to the top of his trap here and get a nice chunk of his gi uh, in my other hand, all right? I'm not taking the time to put my thumb in or grab inside his collar with my right hand, okay? I'm just gonna base and as I come down, just get a chunk of that gi, all right? It's the fastest grip I can get and that's all I need. I got so tight with my first hand that I just need to get a nice little grip with my second hand and I'm ready to go, all right? Now for the finish, I'm gonna drop my head next to my top hand, which is my right hand, squeeze my elbows along my ribs up to the ceiling, okay? Don't try to squeeze this too much up here. It's gonna make you wanna go elbows out and you're not gonna have any base, okay? You could be vulnerable to getting rolled over again, all right? So I'm gonna use my head as base. Once I drop down, my knees spread and my head's on the mat, so go ahead and bridge. My head can slide and I can stay on top, all right? If it was a big enough bridge that I kinda got a little worried, I can let go and base again. And then as his hit comes back down, immediately I go back to attacking his neck again, drop my head and go for the finish, all right? So again, one other little detail, make sure you guys know for the holding purposes, is I keep my big toes in, okay? Uh, you know, in the beginning when I first mount, I might have like a grapevine here, okay? Uh, this is actually a good time to go ahead and get my thumb in the collar and start to swim it over. But when I start to go for the choke, I'm gonna let go of that and sit with my hips back, all right? My knees are out so I have more base and my toes are in. I'm not gonna have my toes out because then he could hook my foot and try to get me in the half guard, all right? So my toes are facing in just like this, okay? Now, let's run through the attack again. I'm down, my knees are out, I have good base. I'm hugging his head, using my shoulder to block one side of his escape. I know he wants to escape to this side. I'm ready to attack as it is. So I'm just gonna slide my thumb under his collar here and rotate over. This immediately will shut down his escape to that side when I drop my elbow, okay? And make sure you drop your elbow right away. I don't want to stay here with my arms straight because now he can rotate his hand in and make a really good defense for the choke, all right? So I'm going to drop my elbow. Now I'm going to bring my body down, okay? And I'm more to this side already when I'm doing this. So it's going to make it really hard for him to roll me over, all right? So when I drop down and I cinch, it's very important that I'm down here, okay? I'm not trying to cinch up here high where I could get rolled over, okay? So I'm here, I grab his collar, same one, four fingers, take out all the slack, slide my arm really deep to his neck. Right here, I mean, there's already choking pressure, okay? When the, the amount of time that you squeeze when you get your second hand on the, on the, the trap shouldn't be that long. Okay, if you have to squeeze for a long time and you're having a hard time, it's probably because your first arm wasn't tight enough. Okay, so get this really tight. Now, I'll start to kind of angle off just a little bit because I know he wants to roll me over whenever he tries. I'll always base as his hip comes down. My hand slides to the top of the trap, getting a chunk of that gi right there. Now I'm going to bring my head down to the mat, add my squeeze, and there's the finish. Okay. Now, if he never did try to roll me over here, I could just go straight, okay? No problem, all right? You can go straight for the finish. But if he does, which most people will, make sure you base, and then just come back, get a nice chunk of the cloth, drop your head and finish. So that's gonna be our strongest finish from the mount position. You can see how it's helped us keep the mount and attack at the same time. And from here, it's going to open up a lot of other op options and combinations.